Greetings, students. This is uh, Ms. Suswana from Hartz Bande Tivet College in Standard Inn Campus. Uh, today's lesson will come from food preparation level 3, the stocks, soups, as well as sauces, which is topic 2. So the sub subject outcomes that we are going to cover, they are four. The first one will be identifying the main contamination threats in preparing the stocks, sauces, hot and cold soups. The second one will be demonstrating and understanding all the relevant food hygiene regulations. The third one, identifying and understanding the different types of stock. The fourth one, the procedures for the preparation, cooking and storage of a range of stocks. So our unit one, We'll talk about the main contamination threats in preparing the stocks, sauces, hot and cold soups. Number one, you need to cool the stock quickly and properly because we all know that when we prepare the stock, we use the bones of which the bones, they are the perishable items. So we need to make sure that we cool the stock quickly before we store it in the refrigerator because if we put the hot stock in the refrigerator, what will happen? It will damage other perishable items in the refrigerator. Uh, the second one, we need to clean and sanitize cutting surfaces and equipment after handling raw poultry, meat and fish. Why do we need to sanitize and clean the, 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 the equipment? because the poultry, it is a perishable item, it contains a bacteria which is called salmonella. So we are trying to avoid the cross-contamination of uh, bacteria from one equipment to another, and also food poisoning. Then unwashed uh, raw vegetables could carry possible soil particles that may carry the bacteria. So as we will be preparing the stocks, and also soups. We also use the vegetables, of which the vegetables, they carry soil. So we need to make sure that we rinse the vegetables thoroughly before preparing. Then we also use the dairy products. So the dairy products should be handled and stored correctly. How do we store the dairy products? We store them in the refrigerator. So you need to take them out uh, before you prepare the stock. That was our unit one. Then unit two, demonstrating and understanding all the relevant food hygiene regulations. Um, number one, prepared stocks that are not for immediate use should be cooled immediately, as we said before, and should be stored in the refrigerator below five degrees Celsius. Then you can uh, store the stocks in the refrigerator. You can also store the stock the stocks in the deep freezer. So the required temperature of the deep freezer is minus 18 degrees Celsius. Then number three, the soups, sauces, and stocks should never be reheated more than once. So you just reheat them. Once, the stock should be prepared fresh daily and be discarded at the end of, to, uh, of the day because we are trying to avoid food poisoning and multiplication of bacteria. Uh, you must never store soups, stocks or sauces above the eye level because it could lead to the accident. Then, do not mix the leftovers with freshly prepared stocks, soups, and sauces. And also, we said you are not allowed to put the hot stock in the refrigerator, and you also you need to clean and sanitize the working surfaces. Then, lastly, the vegetables should be washed thoroughly because we are trying 
to remove the soil particles. That was unit uh, two. In unit two, we we're talking about the relevant food hygiene regulations, the regulations that we need to follow when we prepare the stocks, the regulations that we need to follow when we store the, the, the stocks. Then unit three, it's whereby we'll be identifying and understanding the different types of stocks. Then before we can uh, identify the different types of stocks, we need to explain some terms. The terms that you are going to explain, number one, we need to know what is a stock. Number two, what are the aromatic vegetables? Number three, the mere box. Number four, collagen. Number five, cartilage, as well as acidulated water. So what is a stock? We've been talking about stock. So we need to know on how to define the stock. A stock, it is a well-flavored liquid that forms the basis for many classic and modern dishes, such as the sauces, skews, gravies, glaze, and other dishes. So instead of using water when you prepare the soups or the sauces or the skews, we use the stock of which the stock, it helps us to get flavor. Number two, aromatic vegetables. What are the aromatic vegetables? When we talk about the aromatic vegetables, we are referring to the onion, carrot, celery, as well as the leeks. So the aromatic vegetables, they help your stock uh, to have a good flavor. Then we've got mere box. The mere box are the vegetables that we use when we prepare the stock. So the mere box consists of carrots celery uh, and also onion, they are roughly chopped into large chunks. Then uh, the other term is collagen. It is a type of connective tissue in meats that dissolves when cooked with moisture to form gelatin. I'll make an example of um, chicken feet. If you, uh, you, if you cook the chicken feet, you'll find out that the gravy it's thick, it's because of the gelatin, there is more gelatin in chicken uh, uh, feeds. Then we've got cartilage, it is a trans, uh, translucent elastic tissue found in bones of younger animals. It is usually converted into bones in older animals. Then lastly, we've got acidulated water. Acidulated water, it is a liquid to which an acid is added. So the acid that you can add into water, it can be um, wine. Secondly, it can be lemon juice. So we explained the stock. What is a stock? We said it is a flav uh, flavored liquid. Number two, we explained aromatic vegetables. We said they include onion, carrot, celery, and the leeks. The mere box, we said they include carrots, celery, and onion that are roughly chopped. We also explained collagen, of which we said it is a type of connective tissue found in meat that dissolved when cooked with moisture. Then uh, we also explained cartilage. We said it is a translucent elastic tissue that is found in bones of younger animals. And also acidulated water, we said it is a liquid to which an acid is added. So we have made an, the examples of acid that can be added in water. We said it can be wine or lemon juice. Then we've got different types of stocks. We've got a white stock, we've got brown stock, fish stock, and cod uh, boilon. What is a white stock? The white stock, it is made by simmering chicken. It can be veal, it can be beef or game bones with vegetables and seasonings. So the white stock is used in white soups, sauces, and stews. So we said the white stock is made by simmering the chicken. It can be chicken bones, it can be veal bones, it can be beef bones, 
or game bones with vegetables. Uh, remember we spoke uh, earlier about the mere box of which we said the mere box it's composed of carrot, onion and also leeks of which we use it when we make the stock. So those vegetables that we are talking about is the mere box. Then uh, next one is the brown stock. It is made from chicken bones, it can be veal bones, it can be beef bones or game bones and also vegetables. But now when you make the brown stock, you first caramelize the bones as well as vegetables. How do we caramelize, caramelize the bones and vegetables? You put your bones into a baking tray, you sprinkle with uh, olive oil and roast them until the color changes into brown. Then we use those bones for making the brown stock and also we also add the uh, tomato product. The tomato product, it can be the tomato puree. So we use the brown stock when we prepare the soups, the sauces, as well as stew. Then the fish stock is made by slowly cooking unbrowned fish bones or crushed ocean shells as well as vegetables. Then simmering in water together with seasoning for a short period. Then the, uh, lastly, then we've got the cod boilon, which is, this is a flavored acidulated liquid. And by the time we're explaining the terms, we explained the acidulated liquid, we said it is the water of which the acid is added. So we mentioned the types of acids that we can use. We said it can be uh, lemon juice and also wine. So we've mentioned, we, 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 we spoke about the types of stocks. We said it's number one, it can be white stock. Number two, brown stock. We explained them, the fish stock as well as the cod uh, boil on. Then we've, we've, we've been uh, talking about the stock. We said a stock, it is a well-flavored liquid. Now we'll be talking about the basic stock ingredients. So the main ingredients that we use when we prepare the stock, they are five. Sorry, they are four. So number one, the bones. Number two, ingredient number two, the mere box, the seasoning, as well as water. Those are the basic stock ingredients. So the bones, it can be beef bones. Number two, it can be veal bones. Number three, it can be chicken bones as well as fish bones. That is uh, ingredient number one. Ingredient number two, the mere box, are the vegetables. So the vegetables, the carrot, onion, and celery that are roughly chopped into uniform size of three to five centimeter. Then under mere box, we said the mere box is composed of three ingredients. Um, we spoke about carrot, onion, as well as celery. That is the traditional mere box. So we also have the white mere box. When we prepare the white mere box, we substitute the carrot with the mushrooms and also we do have the classical mere box of which the ham or bacon is added. Then uh, ingredient number three is the seasoning. The seasoning, it can be thyme, it can be bay leaves, it can be peppercorns, it can be parsley, st uh, parsley stems, the uh, cloves, the garlic. Then the salt is not usually added because if it is added, it might become too concentrated. That is, the stock might, might become too concentrated. Then lastly, we've got water. When we prepare the stock, we use the cold water. Why do we use the cold water? Because the cold water speeds the extraction of all soluble substances from all the stock ingredients that we have mentioned earlier. So the basic stock ingredients we said, are the bones, the mere box, which is the vegetables, 
the seasoning, as well as water. Then the, uh, the stock can be available as powder. It can be available as cubes as well as tinned uh, liquids. The, the tinned liquid stock has the best quality, but it is very expensive. Freshly prepared stock is the best to use if you have time to prepare your own. So the stocks, it comes in different ways. It can be powder, it can be cubes, or the tinned liquid stock. Then, don't forget that we spoke about the different types of stocks. We said they are four. We spoke about the white stock, the brown stock, the fish stock, as well as the cod bouillon. Then we spoke about the main ingredients that we use when we prepare the stock. We said the bone, we spoke about the bones, the vegetables, which is the mere box. We spoke about the seasonings as well as the cold water. Now we are moving to Unit four, the procedures, uh, the procedure for the preparation, cooking and storage of range of stock. Because we start by preparing the stock. After preparing the stock, then we cook it. After cooking the stock, then we store it. So there are procedures that we need to follow. Before we can, uh, we, we can uh, talk about the procedures, there are two terms that I want us to, to discuss. The first one is the banquet garni. What is the banquet garni? The, the herbs are tied together. So those herbs that are tied together, they are used for flavoring. They include the thyme, the bay leaves, and parsley. Then uh, the second term, to pilier, is to remove foam. That means when you prepare the stock, you'll find out that there is a foam on top of your stock. So you need to remove it from the surface. Then the preparation. How do we prepare the stock? We've got the steps that we need to follow. Step number one, you chop the bones and meat in large chunks. Number two, you need to remove the marrow and fat because the fat and marrow can make your stock to be cloudy. Step number three, then you soak your bones in cold water. Number four, then you simmer very slowly to, uh, to allow as much flavor as possible to be extracted from the bones. Then make sure that you do not cook your stock uh, for too long. So we've got cooking times. When you prepare the fish stock, the cooking time is between 30 and 45 minutes. For chicken stock, it's between three to four hours. For beef, lamb, or mutton stock, it's between six and eight hours. So make sure that when you, prepare, when you cook your stock, you don't cook it for too long because it, the, your stock will become cloudy. Then after that, after cooking the stock, then you remove the foam as necessary. Then after removing the foam, you chop your vegetables into large chunks. Then, if you remember earlier, we spoke about the mere box. We said the mere box is composed of carrots, onion, as well as celery. So those are the vegetables that you need to cut them into large chunks. Then after that, you add little salt if it's necessary. Because we said if you add too much salt, it will make your stock to, to, to concentrate. Um, then the bay leaves, peppercorns, cloves, and other herbs could be used to add flavor. Because by the time we're talking about the, in, uh, the main ingredients for preparing the stock, we mentioned seasoning. That means the bay leaves, the peppercorns, the cloves, and other herbs, we use them as seasoning because they give uh, flavor to our stock. Then after that, 
you need to carefully strain the cooked stock, then you cool it down as quickly as possible and store it in the refrigerator. If you remember we said if you store the stock, the hot stock in the refrigerator, what will happen? It will damage all the perishable items in your refrigerator. So make sure that you cool your stock quickly, then you store it in the refrigerator. Then after that, you remove any form as necessary. So we're talking about the preparation of stock. Um, uh, we said number one, you chop the bones. Number two, you remove the fats and marrow because the marrow, it can cause your stock to be cloudy. We soak in cold water. We simmer very slowly. Then make sure that you stick to the cooking times because it, if you, you cook your stock for too long, your stock will become cloudy. Then you remove the form, then you chop your vegetables and add into your stock. Then you add little salt only if it's necessary. You add your seasonings, you strain your stock, you cool it as quickly as possible. Then you also remove form after that. That was the preparation of stock. Then, after cooking the stock, let's say you find out that your stock is cloudy. Then you want to make or you want to prepare the white stock. So we also clarify the stock. How do we clarify the stock? For each liter of stock, we use one egg. You separate the egg, then you use the egg white, you uh, slightly beat the egg white, you uh, pour your egg white into the stock, and also the, you crush the shells. You put the crushed shells into your stock and simmer it for a few minutes. Then you take it out and sieve it. Then uh, now we're talking about clarifying the stock. Why do we need to clarify the stock? Is to remove any impurities that can cause the stock to be cloudy. So, number one, the first thing that you, 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 you need to do, you chill the stock well, and then you remove the solid fats from your stock. How do you remove the solid fats from your stock? It's either you use the spoon or you use the absorbent paper. Then how do we clarify the stock? You wash one egg for each liter of stock, which means if you are having five liters of stock, you'll need to have five eggs. For each liter, one egg. Then you add the broken shells. Then you slightly uh, beat the egg whites to the stock. Then after that, then you heat slowly and stir on and off until the stock starts to boil. Then you remove from heat and allow it to stand for 20 minutes. Then after that, you sieve once or twice with a double cheese cloth. Then make sure that you do not press the cloth to remove the last liquid as this might force the last raft. So we're talking about clarifying the stock. We said one egg for each liter. Then we use the shells, you, uh, the broken shells. You also use the egg white to slightly beat the egg white and add to your stock and simmer for two minutes. And after that, you remove it from the heat and allow it to stand for 20 minutes. Then you sieve using the double uh, layer of cheesecloth. Then make sure that you do not press the cloth to remove the last liquid because this might force the last raft. That was all uh, about our lesson we're talking about the stock. So we defined some terms that you need to know. We spoke about the different types of stock. We spoke about the main ingredients that we use when we prepare the stock. We spoke about the storage of stock. How do we store the stock? That before you store the stock, 
you cool the stock quickly, you, you can store it in the refrigerator below five degrees Celsius. You can also store it in the freezer at minus 18 degrees Celsius. And also, we spoke about clarifying the stock. It's whereby you, you remove any impurities uh, from the stock. Okay, uh, from our lesson, the subject outcomes that uh, we have covered already, we spoke about the main contamination threats. That means the things that we need to avoid, those things that can make the food poisoning or the cross-contamination of bacteria. Then uh, we spoke about the hygiene regulations that we need to stick to when we prepare the stocks. We also spoke about the different types of stocks and also how to cook, how to prepare and how to store the different types of stocks. Uh, for any further questions, you can hit me up at GS College social media platforms. Bye.